Okay, I'm making this video for a friend of mine who wants to follow a bike ride we put on a few weeks ago called the F2G2. If I search for F2G2 2015, on our registration page we had a course map in various formats. Where is it? We had it in TCX GPX. So I prefer to use the GPX file. Now, you could, you could take this GPX file, or if you went to, if you had planned out a route on Map My Ride, or Ride with GPS, or you found somebody's route you wanted to follow on Strava, you could grab the GPX file from there. But what I'm going to do is just take the GPX file, and when I click on it, it downloaded to my downloads folder here. If I look at it, it's called 2015 that. You can actually get a program free from Garmin called Basecamp. And it's starting up right now because I double clicked on that file. So here is the track for the F2G2. You can kind of see it, it goes down here and then goes around and then back up and around. Now, that's the track. What you want to do is send it to your GPS, and I have had very bad luck doing that with any kind of software. But what works really well is if I get out of this, and I take this root, that file, and I copy that file to my Garmin device. Into the Garmin New Files folder, and I do Edit, Paste Item. And then I'm going to switch to my camera. So what I'm going to do is disconnect my Garmin device. It's going to shut off. And then I'm going to turn it on. And when you turn it on, it's going to read that any files that are in the new files folder and make a course out of them. So once this loads, I'll show you on my computer where it is. And the one bad thing is the name is almost always illegible. So I'm ready to go for a ride and I am going to click on the find button, courses. Hey, look at that. It's got the right name. F2G2 2015. And I'm going to click on that and then click on Ride. And it'll load the course and it'll say, do you want to navigate to the beginning? And I'll say yes, and it will calculate how I get there. So that's how you would follow any kind of route that you create, either with Map My Ride, by downloading somebody's Strava, by however you want to do it. So there you go, Jim. Hope that helps.